The rain is very, you know, it's trying to paint a pretty picture. You're trying to get a rune of water when all you have to do is just complain about your life until it starts raining and then continue to complain. <sighs>what's going on my roadies my name is dustin and welcome back to sky factory 3 this is going to be part or episode number 34 uh today we're actually returning to this lovely mod of botania um it has been a while since we actually did anything with it in fact i was just looking up it was episode 15 and 16 and here we are o over you know double the amount of episodes since we last touched it also that is still terrifying but i'm not gonna dwell on that too much so I made that nice little patch of grass over there. So now we're gonna start moving things over. Because it's been such a long time, um, if I find the date on these, these were published back November of last year. It has been a while, almost a year ago, if you really think about it, that we last touched this mod. So I'm gonna have to move all this stuff. I'm gonna get rid of all the grass over here. Let me just go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. I'll just place the torch there for the time being. I'll have to pretty this all up, but I don't want to waste how much mana is in here. The mana pool, don't be confused. Even though it's barely a quarter of the way up, that'll probably still fill up like three or four diluted mana pool things. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of get this set up to conga line it all the way over here. I'm hoping that this is far enough away. So if I do that over here hit that that should oh I have to shift right click it's been so long I can't even remember what half the controls are it's weird um, can I make it in two I wonder don't mind all the water over here okay so that'll make it I think though I need to put one right next to it if I'm not mistaken so this will go to there. And now this, yep, it's got the mana from this. This is going to take a while to drain because it took forever to actually get filled up. But this we should start seeing with mana soon. This is a more, yep, there it is. This is a more permanent station for Britannia. That was always meant to be a temporary place. Enderman floating over there in the distance. Uh, this is a slight problem from having this colossal chest over here. The Endermen don't or tend to survive. So I do need to update the way that this actually processes mobs by uh, killing them. Also, let's take a look. Um, yeah, we've got a lot more loot this time. A lot more bags and whatnot. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think... Well, here's what I'm thinking. If, theoretically speaking, if I combine the lines, this shouldn't be a problem, right? How, what is... Oh, another warp block. I didn't know that. Probably could be uh, getting those all this time, too, but oh well. If I combine the lines over here, of course, I don't have any conduit on me. But if I combine the lines, that would, theoretically speaking, I could prioritize... Um, because I, I haven't messed with this since the last time I played, and I probably need more than that. If I combine these two lines here for the items, I can then mess around with the... Well, before I mess around with anything, let's, let's just double check my work over here. So this is a 10 priority, 10 priority. That's two and two. So what if I knock this down to like a negative one? A negative one actually no that, that should be fine at a 10 and I'll keep them at a 10 I'll keep these at a 2 oh blacklist okay I'm fine with that anything else pretty much that can be combined and then if I go back down here all I would have to do is hook up this line and then priority of zero. So now it should take a look at everything in the system. Prioritize putting in loot bags in here instead of storing them and then taking them out. So that way all the flesh and stuff. Do I really need that much rotten flesh though? 
You really think about it? I mean, like, there's already quite a bit. I think I need a blacklist or to do something with that because it's going to start getting really nasty here in a little bit. Anyways, sorry, getting distracted. Batania, that's the, the topic of today's episode. I also don't know why I feel compelled to, like, clean some of this up. But I will. Just a little bit. Maybe look a little bit homey over here. So, what we're going to do... Is this all separated now? Okay, it should be. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Even though I said I was going to do this later, and here I am doing it now. Yeah, I think it's the smelteries. It's whenever I look over there, I get a massive drop in frames, which isn't exactly good. Um, I believe, actually, I could just move this. Is that? No, that was that was right. Just find the other half slabs here. <clears throat> Go along like that. I still have a torch over here, really. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, it looks slightly better. One more right there, just for aesthetic reasons. Uh, there's only one block there. I mean, it feels off. Because these are out the side versus these aren't. I don't know why I find this the most important thing of right now, other than my OCD is kicked in. And then. There we go, that's better. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't it be a normal video if I wasn't just completely messing around here, so. Um, let's see. I will say as well, I have the um, Feed the Beast uh, wiki on my second monitor over here as well. Um, the Getting Started Batania. I'll leave a link for this in the description below as well. So if you guys are uh, interested in getting started with Batania, it might be better to follow this. The book does contain all the information that you need as well as like a basic tutorial. But I, don't, I just don't like to navigate through books in this game. It just feels a little weird. So... Um, Okay, so what we're going to need, looking at the second monitor here, I've already gotten the first flowers, gotten like the pure daisy, we got the uh, wand of the forest. If you want to watch any of that unfold, check out the links in the description for episode 15 and 16, where we actually discuss those first. Kind of opened up the place, to be honest. Feels a little better, but uh, still weird. Anyway, so here we are. I brought everything over here, just a couple seconds. So it talks... <clears throat> Excuse me. Looking a little ways down on the walkthrough, it talks about first generational flowers like the day bloom, um, hydroangias or whatever they're called, which we've used those. Those are really good. So there is another one here it's talking about. It says um, the day blooms and hydroangias are not too bad, but they wither about three Minecraft days. Better flower to use would be the Endo Flame, as it does not wither and cre it creates a good amount of mana. This is made with two mystical brown petals, one mystical light gray petal, and one mystical red in the petal apothecary. So, an Endo Flame, um, just to show you guys in the game if I can find it. Um, let's see. So, looking at it, this is the recipe brown, brown, gray, and red. I don't even remember how we did this, so there's a red. Uh, brown. Gray. Or is it GRA? Yeah, gray. Tall gray. Gray. So I believe that's it. And I believe what we do, we don't, we don't mash it. I think we just do this. That's great. Okay. And then we're also going to need... I'm going to make an infinite water source over here. Probably should grab a crafting bench. And before I forget as well, we're also going to need some seeds. I almost spaced and forgot where I put them. It's been that long. Okay. So now we got all the necessary ingredients. Let me throw it on the crafting table. That way we have it. Um, let's just go ahead and make up a couple of recipes of these. 
We're not going to need too much anyways. So... This is kind of a weird place for all of this. In retrospect, I probably should have put it over here, but okay, it's whatever. Let me just go ahead and... Build me up a little hot tub of water. And then we're going to run over here. This might be a bit of a problem to start off with, but I'll rearrange some of this stuff by the end of the episode. That way we have a more concise place and knowing what we're doing. So it was one red, one gray, and two brown, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I got a confirmation on that. Okay. So let me throw a couple more of these seeds back in there. So one red, one gray, two brown, and a seed. Oh, I forgot. It's not Q, it's right click, isn't it? No? Excuse me? Two brown, gray, red. Did I mess something up? Light gray. I put in gray. Well, dang it. Well, I messed that up. Uh, do we have light gray? It's G-R-A-Y. I've seen it spelled either way. Okay, light gray is right here. Get out a bucket. Put that in there. Okay, so we have red, light gray, brown, brown. And then, ah, there we go. Boom. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in my inventory. So an endo flame apparently uh, takes coal. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to place it, yeah, I don't know really where to place it. I'll place it over here for the time being. Whoa. So now I need a mana spreader. Oh, that's interesting. I must have forgotten. It needs a clear line of sight to move mana. Okay. So we're going to need another mana spreader. Maybe two if we really needed to. Let's go ahead and put that right there. So now this should be able to reach. Yeah, it should be able to. So now we do that to that. There we go. Okay. So now I think we just give it coal. Do we have to drop next to it? I'm not too sure. It did mention something about how you can drop like a whole block. Whatever whatever the normal burn time of a furnace would be is what this would do. So do I... Well, I... Or does it have to be coal? Nope, it does not need to be coal. Can confirm. So what if I drop all of that? Does it just suck all of it up? I think it only takes some of it. Because I'm now... It only took one. So I guess I'll keep... Maybe I should make a couple more. I'll, I'll be right back. Let me make like three or four more. I find it kind of funny how things just kind of come back to you. <laughs> I didn't expect things to be hitting me back as, as fast as they are, but they are, which is good. It means I'm, I'm remembering some stuff, despite being so long in between uh, episodes. But, you know, I feel like it's worth it. I think. Okay, so we made three more. I'm trying to remember if... I don't think they mess each other up. So let's just... Make sure each of these are kind of linked up. And now we just bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, 
Uh, looks like they're all good. Yeah. All right. So, according to the Wikipedia, or Vicky as I'll call her from now on, the um, these here, it says, the time the flower generates mana is proportional to the burn time of the con combustible. So as the burn time increases, so does the time the end of flame generates mana. I recommend getting a decent ma amount of mana before moving on. And they talk about something called the bell thorn, which we're not really going to experiment with because I don't really need it. It basically takes mana from nearby mana pools and hurts mobs around it, not the player. So if I wanted to use this for like a very standard mob farm, then I could. It would be a very interesting way to kill mobs, don't get me wrong. Uh, but now we're going to move on to what's called a runic altar. So a runic altar is a key component in creating more advanced botania floria. Or flora, excuse me. Um, in order to get this runic altar, we need to obtain a mana pearl or a mana diamond uh, by throwing either an ender pearl or diamond respectively into a mana pool with sufficient mana. And then I need to make it with living rock. Uh, places one block away from your mana pool afterwards place a mana spreader while on the runic altar in the space between the two you can then start crafting with mana so what we're gonna need we're gonna need another thing of living or another whatchamacallit couple I'll make a, a couple more of these because I feel like we're gonna need them also need to remember how to make living wood again I think it's pure daisy, yeah, with logs. I can't remember how to make a pure daisy. Um, R, R, ah, all white, that's right, okay. Oh, I have them right here, never mind. Um, I'll go ahead and plant one here, I suppose. Is it going to break if I left click? I don't know. Let me get some shears just in case. If I need to remake it, I'll remake it, but... I'm fairly certain that you can't. Oh, you can. Never mind. Okay. We're good. I'm going to go get some wood and start transforming some of the wood to living water. I also told the system to start storing wood again because the colossal chest took a chunk of out of our wood. So uh, let me go ahead and place a couple of these down, get some wood transforming, and we'll move on to the next step. Just for aesthetic reasons, it kind of looks like a fence, but anyways. So, the runic altar, let's get to that. Uh, so, we're either going to need an ender pearl or a diamond, and I think ender pearls might be faster to go over here and grab, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Nope, there's none there. I do know we have some over here, though. So, what I'll do... I'll just... I'll take about 16, because I feel like we might need more for the future. Um, those do take a little bit of time to turn over. I think they might transform any second now to prove me wrong, but... Okay, so we got a little bit of mana. Yep, they're transforming now. Only the bottom layer, I believe. Okay, so now we don't have enough mana no more. Yeah, we ran out. We're still transferring some that's over here, unless that's done. Nope, <laughs> it's still not done. It's going to take a while. So we need to start getting a lot more mana so I think I might make more of these endo flames because they're really really good they will be my lifeblood for a good long while okay so now we need to make this runic altar which is going to be living rock uh, let's go ahead and make it and then we're going to need a mana spreader we're going to put it right Ooh, that looks fancy that's cool and then we're going to take a mana spreader, place that down right there, and this hopefully... Um, yeah. Okay, anyways. So now we have a runic altar. So now, um, let's see. The Agricarnation. What is that? So this rune requires the flowers within... S uh, let me read this real quick. Okay, so let's make a couple of runes here. Um, so let's start off. We're going to need some mana steel ingots. Now, it said it would need iron. Oh, gosh, lag. 
So let's go, not that one right here. Let's get some iron. Like so. Let's head back over this way. But now I'm afraid we might not. Okay. We might. Yeah, we got enough. Okay. So we're going to need three of the. Whoa, they're floating. That's scary. I was scratching underneath my eye when that happened. That was scary. Uh, we're going to need a bone meal. And we're going to need sugar cane. And we're also going to need, oddly enough, a fishing rod. Um. Just need one off the top. There we go. And fishing rod. I'm going to go down for this one and just craft it up here. Nope, wrong one. This one. Um, let's see. So fishing rod. I should have all the necessary ingredients like so. Head all the way back over this way. Let's go ahead and right click that. Right click that. And then it said to take a block of living rock, place it on the top, and then wait for blue lightning is what it said. Is blue lightning happening? Oh, well that... Don't want to get too close now. So now what? We just sit here and wait. I mean, what's happening is pretty cool and all, but... I don't understand it. I don't think it's doing anything. I've been sitting here for a couple minutes now. Um, do I need to like... That's not right. I feel like I'm... That's not necessary. Um... Bleh. Did I mess this up? I'm very confused. Never mind. You just have to sit here and wait for a very long time. <sighs> so long of a time. They sped up their video and it was the most entertaining thing. So I have to wait until this is done. So this is going to sit here for a very long time until I can just come up to it. And I, then I think you just throw the living rock on top of it. Let me double check to see if that's correct. Once you see the blue lightning, um, thanks, Rain. You're my friend. Wait a second. I missed out a step. So throw one of those and then right click. It says the right click. I'm pretty sure I right clicked. And then I guess I wait. The rain is very, you know. It's trying to paint a pretty picture. You're trying to get a rune of water when all you have to do is just complain about your life until it starts raining. And then continue to complain. <sighs> well, that's almost empty, finally. So I guess we just need to wait for a while. Um, if I decide to include it, I will at the end of the video. As like the little teaser. I'm not sure, though. I might just kind of leave it where it's at, because... Dang, dude, this is gonna, this is gonna be painful. I also feel like I need more of these and maybe get to a point where I can maybe do like a dropper timer system like this over here. Just have a chest full of coal that just drops it when they need it the most. I don't know, but I'm, I'm not going to get too close in case I pick that up again. I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when I go uh, live for live streams, which is very occasional these days, or when I upload new videos. If you like what you see and you want to see more, that's the way you get more content. Um, as far as it is, if there is any suggestions in terms of what mod you like me to mess around with next leave a comment down below but i'm probably going to mess around a little bit more with botania because i i feel like this is a mod that would really interest me but the problem is i just haven't given it the time of day that it deserves so thank you all so much for watching this video and i'll catch you on the next one cheers Ugh, i think i'm gonna be here a while don't mind me just gonna stare at my floating items here for a little bit
Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos too. Are you new around here? Consider subscribing and turning on channel notifications so you get notified when I upload more. Thanks again and have a great day.